Huh. And we got a new thing here, too. All right. So that makes things super easy. I guess the prayer beads were from... Because it's an optional fight. And then also the fact that I killed two things, right? So I got two prayer beads and the memory there. That's actually nice. Uh, enhanced attack power, definitely. So I don't have to fight the fucking ape again, right? That, that's done. That, no more of that shit. That'd be nice. That was actually a really easy fight. I was dreading that. Um, and I got a shitload of XP for it, too. I got all my 5,000 back, it looks like. Um, what else was I going to do? I forgot. <laughs> um, so, as I mentioned, I was farming this area, and I didn't want to go into that area and fight the ape um, because of, uh, you know, I wanted to stream it. So what I had done is I fast traveled here and kept going forward. Um, in doing so, uh, I realized just how pain, how much of a pain in the ass Mibu Village is, or Mibu Village, or however the fuck you pronounce it. So we will likely fast travel the wedding cave door here in a minute, but as I mentioned, the guys that are outside right here are actually super fucking easy to kill, and they give good XP. So I want to go kill them. Oh, I didn't rest. How did I... I feel like it should uh, have counted that as a rest, because I upgraded shit. I don't know why it wouldn't. That's weird. Alright, uh, let's switch to that. Actually, the fire. Actually, are these the upgraded versions? Like, the most upgraded ones? Yeah, that's definitely is. Uh, let's see. What else do I have? Mountain Echo... Let's put this on. I haven't used the umbrella in a while, so let's put that on instead of the fire. Probably should have put it on instead of the finger, but it is what it is. Fire hasn't really come in handy too much lately. All right, so these guys should spawn. That guy's dead. That was friend. How much do they give? Yeah, 620 each for those guys. Like, my whole farming technique in Maibu Village before didn't give that much, and it was for five enemies. So that's definitely a good farming spot if you desperately need uh, stuff. So, uh, at this point, I think our best bet is to travel. Um, let's see. We need to go to... Wedding cave door. Because unless I've done something wrong or not done something that I was supposed to, we should be able to progress from here. Because it said that we needed to pray at the altar. And that would take us to the Divine Realm, which seems like a major event. So let's hope. Feels good to not be stuck on something for once. And also, that was a really easy fight for it to give you attack power like that. So I feel like maybe the Divine Realm might be pretty difficult if they're giving you an optional fight like that that increases your attack power. But I could be wrong. I don't know. Also, this place is still gorgeous. Like, I, 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 I adored the look of this place whenever we came here the first time. And now I adore it even more. All right, let's go here. Yeah, pray. Cool. So now I know what to do. We can progress. Cutscene! We haven't seen one of these since our father decided to try and murder us. The fuck's happening? Okay. That seems like an unceremonious death for the protagonist. Alright. So I have one question. Why does it have a wooden penis? 
Also, what is it? Is this thing? It's Groot. It's fucking Groot. Like, thanks, I guess. So this whole time, the Divine Realm's just been up a mountain? Like, I couldn't have found a better way up there? I had to have... whatever it is... take me? Don't get me wrong, this is fucking amazing. <laughs> I'm, I'm making jokes and... like, commenting on it like I'm upset, but I'm not. This is... this is... ridiculous and awesome. I survived. Not that I'm surprised, but, you know, it is what it is. Like, it said that this would be the Divine Realm, would be where I would go. I distinctly remember that. But, uh, I didn't know that fucking Groot himself was going to come out of fucking Thanos' asshole and take me there. So what happens if I jump? Ashina Traveler. Oh! Oh, is this... Oh, that's the one for visiting all the areas. So this must be the last area. Oh, I gotta look at the map whenever I, uh... Activate... There's a statue right there. But I saw an item down here that I want more. So... But seriously, though. Tell me why it needs to have... A wooden penis. Also, what does that say? Someone translate that and tell me what it says. Because if it doesn't say not a penis... I'm gonna be disappointed. Pellets. Nice. Okay. I got two of those. Alright, so... Uh, uh. So is there is there a place to go down there? Because that makes me think that I could attach to that from somewhere. Also, I've seen this bridge. I know that I know for a fact there's a boss right here. Not looking forward to that. But I've heard that you can actually kind of cheese it. So we might try and find that. Uh, let's see. Travel. Antique map. Fountainhead Palace. Okay, so maybe this isn't the Divine Realm. Okay. That's actually really cool, though. I got to all of them now. I was worried that that one might, uh, might be difficult to get. I was thinking that maybe I'd have to actually search around for that particular trophy. Let's see what's over here. Any way I can sneak around and circumnavigate this boss fight? Also, why do the trees look like they're wet? Looks like an oil painting that got rained on. Um, yeah, I don't see anything. But, like I said, uh, I've heard about this boss, and I've heard that you can get a uh, death blow from above. Maybe not. Oh, you're gonna be joking. I don't have any divine confetti! Oh shit, I didn't even realize that. Okay, well, I'm gonna stay in the trees at this point. You wanna... wanna come up here? Lose... oh, wait. Did it lose interest? I lost my lock on it. Okay! So the trees are not a safe haven. Alright, hold up. Do I have... Any snap seeds? Because I want to say snap seeds worked for a time on the other version of this fight, right? I don't think I have any. I do not. Um, that is basically this stuff, so that's not gonna work. Yeah, without divine confetti, I don't know that I can do anything here. Um, I could try this. I've seen people using this on the other version of the fight, but I don't know how well it's going to work here. Whoops. <laughs> and I died. Okay. Well, that was, uh, that was a fun one. See, so, yeah, I've heard that there's a way to get a death blow if you get in the tree. Oh, I got an NCD. Nice. But I don't know exactly how to do that. Alright, 
I need to switch. Okay, so what I'm what I'm seeing here is that posture is a big thing in this version of the fight, as opposed to the other one. So I need to deflect his attacks. Okay, so he follows that up with a massive attack. the wrong button when he does that one. Okay. I just noticed he has three fucking health bars. Damn it! I did it again. Run away. This posture almost doesn't deplete at all, though. I'm down to... My gourds are not lasting very long in this one. Jesus. Alright, I'm gonna have to figure out how to get that death blow on this guy. One. There's no way I make it through the rest of this fight, though. Oh, he's he's got new tricks. All right, back into the tree of. Well, it's not really safe. Yep, there it is. <laughs> the tree is not safe. Not, not safe at all. Come a little closer. All right. I, I, I gotta remember, he's got a decent reach of, with that weapon. Oh, run away! Okay. might take a while, but we'll get it eventually. Oh, I fucking switched shit by accident. It's not what I wanted. Need pellets. Oh, balls. Nope. I might have to go farm Divine Confetti. I found a place... There's like 12 of them! He's just standing there laughing. Can we talk about how much this guy looks like a Power Rangers villain? Like... It's silly. It really is. Like, he, he like seriously looks like a Power Ranger. Or Power Ranger villain. Oh god, I don't know how to do this. It's gonna bother me. Alright, so I think our best bet to try and figure out how to get this death blow from the tree that I've heard so much about. I see he doesn't stagger at all whenever I do shit like that. Resurrect. Let's see. Can't hit me. Oh, 
he hit me. <laughs> So, yeah, this might be difficult as fuck. <laughs> I think we've reached our uh, roadblock for the day. Not really surprising. From what they said last time, we're actually getting close to the conclusion of this. And that was based on a character in the game so I don't know if that's true or not but let's go oh that's not good for me I gotta, I gotta learn the tells on this attacks. Okay. Didn't know there was a follow-up attack to that one. Let's heal. dodge rolled instead of uh, doing what I needed to do there. Fuck! Alright, need a good distance. Oh, come on. Did a complete 360 that time. Yeah, definitely posture is, like, the key to this. Alright, there's one. Gives me a revive back. I'm gonna switch to my pellets. Oh, that's not what I wanted at all. Alright, let's... CFO. Can I get up here? Is this like a way to cheese this? Like, he's a big dude. So, maybe. Maybe I can, uh... That's cool. He took more than half my health in one hit. This is fucking ridiculous. All right, come on. All right, I hit that button. That's cool. trees.
Okay. Damn it, I was supposed to jump. I don't have any fucking cords. Okay. Back in the trees. Okay, that took all of my health again. And he barely fucking hit me. fucking heels. Alright, got him down twice. Oh, of course. Yeah, that makes sense. I need Divine Confetti. <laughs> it's gonna make this fight a lot easier, I feel. Divine Confetti or Snap Seeds? Oh boy, this is gonna take a while. I don't see date again though. Um, plenty of that. Uh, I don't think I can afford any of the skills. Like, not even one. Yeah, didn't think so. Um, Let's see. Do I have anything that will help? I don't think fire is going to help. None of the candy is really going to be useful. Maybe the attack power candy. He was taking decent damage whenever I was uh, right up on him like that. So I can try that. And also, I wonder if... Actually, you know what? Those statues that I have. This one, okay. That gives me a full one. And then this other one. That way I'll have three, and basically I just have to survive until I can get a death blow. And every... If I revive and then get a death blow, I'll be able to revive again and again. So that might be helpful. Um, let's go ahead and put it on this. And let's use it. And then immediately back to the gourd. Let's go here. Come on, dude. Wow, I didn't even realize I did nothing to him there. Fuck. I misread that. I wasted those bundles at this point. At least I keep them. Right, I'm gonna go up here. Do I have any more of that candy? I do. Okay. I have some in store as well. Fuck. Alright, I'm gored up. Okay, I hit that button. Game.
come on. This. Again. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Okay. I'm close enough to a death blow. Need the gourd. Fuck. Here we go. Alright. Okay, come on. Got it. Nice. I actually managed to actually successfully counter that attack, which was something I haven't done yet. I'm hoping I can stop that. Okay. Gotta run away. At a certain point, I think he shows up. Like, see, he's there now. It's just he's like translucent. I can't attack him. See, this is where snap seeds would be useful, I bet. There he is. Okay. Come at me. Tried to attack with my big sword, didn't work. Do your follow up. Are we doing this shit again already? that button, but sure again. Oh my god, this is annoying.
course you hit me. Oh, oh, okay. 